Hey everyone, this is Penny. Penny A Creations. How are you today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. Everyone, this is the last video. Um, of the blankets series. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. This stuff stayed together. A miracle. Yeah. I, th I used um, this is what is left of one pack. It was five in the, in the pack. Mm -hmm. So let me show you the full skein and what it looks like. What it looks like. You can read all that. Good. It was Hersness. Um, I picked it up from Hersness. They had to sell. Mm -hmm. Not sure if they still have it. I doubt it. Okay, so this uh, the, the so the color they have P A R T I party and then they have um, a color number. So, yeah, so much for that. I would say this is a medium four. I used a five crochet hook on it. Yeah. Let's see. Did I did I get anything off here? Useful. Let's see. Nope. 100% acrylic. I, I use a five, everyone. This came out to be a nice size. Uh-huh. I think I'm done with this. Yes, I'm done with this. I just put a uh, simple border crush um, on it. Mm-hmm. This is pretty. Sometimes with this blanket, you get that gab that doesn't lay flat out from you for you and sometimes it does it has i think it could have something to do with the gauge because sometimes for me it'll lay flat and sometimes i'll get that that um pucker and i know the rule of thumb when you are crocheting and you come around when you're doing your corners hold on one second the very beginning that's the first stitch let's see if i can get this let's see two so after you do your corner your first stitch right here that hole that's where you have to put in your stitch so it's not visible for you you have to actually pull that back and it has never it has if, if it has, to, if I missed it, probably missed it only one because I know, I know it's there. But I know the, I know if you if you miss that, it's definitely gonna throw everything off. In my case, I don't think that's the reason why I get that um, buckling. I think it's a gauge how I'm feeling. Sometimes, if I'm crocheting for a long period of time and I. I can go longer. I notice in my gauge, it'll start changing. And I'll see it and I have to put it down. And I don't like when that happens because I still want to crochet. But um, I have to listen to what my body is saying. It's enough, you know, do something else. Mm -hmm. This is pretty, I like this. This is really pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to look at this again. Well, I put a border on it, but I can add some more yarn to it if I want to. Or I can just call it quits like it is. Why? Why? Why bother it? It's already done. You know? It's already done. It's pretty. Mm-hmm really nice really nice and the second one is in the same family 
as far as the color. I remember a long time ago, Calvin used to, used to come upstairs and, and we used to hold up the blankets together. Uh, and I used to, I used to purposely hold, hold it up longer <laughs> just to see his face squirm. Because men, if you don't know it, women, we can outwork what men. So we have a stamina that can out, out last this. But being that we have small hips, they can carry more more weight than we can. So you know it's different. They pick up a hundred pounds. They can pick up a hundred pounds back without a problem with us. It feels like a tongue because our hips is not designed to carry that. And, you know, that's why it's so hard for many of our women to get into those elite um, teams because they cannot handle the carry that weight that's required because of our hips. But we can outwork them. We can outstand. Mm -hmm. So he used to squirm. I said, your arm's tired? He said, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. We can do more setups than they can. Well, I can, of course, because I'm out of shape. But, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Okay, so this is in the same family. This is beautiful. Mm-hmm. Best was left. Put this on my shelf because I have three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, I have twelve more of these on the shelf. Wow, looks like I have. Did I do anything with that? Wait, wait, everyone, let me look. Yeah, I did a half double crochet border. Uh huh on this, but I have to sew this in. Okay, any more stragglers? And this, is, this looks like uh, I had to cut something. I remember I had to cut the yarn a couple of times because it was, it was getting too thick. And sometimes in that, in that burgundy one, yeah, I remember that. I had to cut it because it was thicker than than the yarn. So I had to snip it. Other than that, it was a pleasure to work with. Mm-hmm. Although it's okay standard, it still released, released some particles in the air that I wasn't pleased with. And I kept doing like that. I'm so Calvin, look at the light. And that's the stuff that gets and my nose and congest me and all kinds of stuff. And of course it goes down into the lungs. So drink water. Yeah. So the chemicals in this stuff is not good for us. <clears throat> Pretty, right? Just absolutely beautiful. Mm-hmm. And that's it, everyone. Those are the last two. Mm-hmm. Um, I am, what they say, I am blanket out. You know, I'll go through these and, and tie these little loose things up. I know I had a couple of, couple of sew-ins, but I knew they wasn't major. I knew I had take, taken care of um, all the major stuff. You know, every time you tie in a, a, a skein, those things. Yeah. pretty right absolutely beautiful I love it I enjoy working on all of these I'm glad they are finished except the cream one mm -hmm. put this one on top of this one like that yeah that here 
this one there and i'm done all right everyone that's it for the blankets and temperature blanket will be i will show that october the beginning of october hopefully i am not too behind i can i can be on i can be caught up when i show it mm -hmm. all right everyone thank you appreciate your support thanks please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to discussing my blankets or any other thing you want to talk about in the comment section talk to you soon thanks everyone bye